Title thumbnail, that's why you click it, it's going crazy. Um, like I said, guys, you already know what's going on. This is definitely a well publicized um case. I mean, and it is definitely um is not a normal case, you know, to say the least, but uh um it's definitely entertaining. We will say that. Um, if you haven't seen our previous videos, go check it out. They're absolutely hilarious, but you guys have been uh tagging me um and wanted to react more to the case and uh you guys spam this like no other um like i said i have been in and out of the case um i haven't just watched it like day by day trial by trial you know deposition by deposition uh deposition whatever you prefer to call it um but i have been catching the key points and the important parts uh to the trial so uh it, it's definitely like i said it's funny and it's entertaining i'm a man of uh uh, of the depth, you know what I mean? Johnny Depp for the dub. Let's hopefully that, uh, let's hope that, you know, he comes out strong, stronger than ever. Um, and you know, you reclaim the credibility that he deserves. Um, enough of me ranting and talking. Let's just go ahead and check it out because uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get juicy, you know what I mean? So it's fair to say that she has not donated $3.5 million as of today to the ACLU, true? True. When you say that Mr. Depp, our client, donated $100,000 to be credited toward Amber Heard, did the ACLU in fact credit that $100,000 toward the $3.5 million Ms. Heard promised to donate to the ACLU? We do credit it. Did Ms. Heard direct okay. you to credit it to, the, to her account, as it were? We asked Ms. Heard if we should credit it. And she said that we should. Can you generally describe for us what you remember about the, the That's marks crazy. you saw like, Mr. Depp? Yes. What she makes it away was really about, hard for her attorney to be on her side. Through my training. You know? That's happening in the left-hand side of his face. And it would be scratches on his neck, maybe a, a, a fat lip in the corner, maybe a bruising on, on the eye socket. And it was getting it was getting more regular. I'm not, as I say, not every week, but it was definitely happening, yeah. If you look at that picture, like I said, on the left-hand side, under his eye, there's a swelling. And you see a, a swelling just on the left-hand side of his nose and under his left eye. Clearly. And what do you interpret that swelling to be? So what, do I, what do I interpret it as? That's, uh, either he's, he's walked into a door or a door's walked into him. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rottenborn played a clip from an audio uh, recording where Miss Heard That's funny. A little sarcasm. You, you vomit in your sleep a lot. Do you remember that recording? Yes, I do. And what's your response to that? Someone, when someone tells you that you vomit, if you didn't tell me, I heard it in court. I. When someone brings up the fact that you vomit in your sleep every night and well at first i think you'd be aware of it um and also i think uh, the first thing that i would do is seek medical attention which was crazy for, for didn't them. exist i'd never vomited in my sleep every yeah, night yeah them to say I, while it may seem basic to hear at first, the case that is going on with Amber Heard and Johnny Depp in this particular instance, the defamation case that has been going on for over two weeks now, is okay. very much one of truth and lies. To be more specific, Johnny Depp is trying to prove once and for all that and Amber Heard And even through these clips, the guys, I'm large, still learning about more the about the case. Like, I'm hearing things I've never even heard before. Him. As of right now, you know? there is no verdict that can be rendered for various reasons. That being said, what has been said both but during this trial and previous ones the amount of libel it's, case it's, proves for, that she has lied to lawyers and others. I feel so bad for like Amber Heard's attorney do us a favor because it's like, you know, like if you're going to do something, to the right, at least the give them something to work with. And I, I, I say that like sarcastically, I don't really feel video. bad for them, you, you know what I mean? But because it's their job and Amber I, I definitely want Depp the W for, you know, Johnny Depp. But she's making it really hard for her attorney to even fight for it. If I was her attorney at that point, I'm not even going to trap you guys. I would give up. I would give up. I'd be like, yo, 
Oh, come on. Oh, you from, gotta get me even something though was to work with. Not even lie after about lie. I mean, there's, you know, evidence after evidence that you're lying, you're doing this, this never happened, you did this, he didn't do this, like, you gotta give me something. At that point, I gotta leave with, like, my dignity. I just can't help you lie, you know? like to bring the dogs with her and did it anyway, going so far as to threaten Kevin's job. Kevin even admitted to perjury in the London court. She also claimed to have gotten another dog via a rescue that she called Hagia. If you don't know, that's Arabic in nature. After the dog chewed on one of her scarves, she called the dog, quote, a little terrorist. Where's the dog now? We don't know, as the dog was never seen again, which says quite a bit about Amber Heard in the eyes of many. Wow. And you know, I have to say, it's kind of ridiculous. Easily one of the biggest things that Amber Heard has tried to convey is the fact that she is a non-violent person. Oh, yeah, no way. If we take Johnny Depp There's out no of way. Johnny Depp Megan is not walking in the doors or, easily. you know, knocking himself out. Which is because There's no she way. was in a previous would, no, relationship come, with come a on, woman bro. named Tasia Van Rie. And it's been noted by many that she was abusive to Tasia in that relationship. So much so that a police officer came and arrested Heard for hitting her partner. Well, that is a crime. The overall isn't a lie, right? Well, except she claimed that the police officer was homophobic and despised her because she was dating a woman. A terrible thing if it was true. But guess what? The police officer was a lesbian. Amber Heard is bisexual and was even an advocate for the LGBTQ plus community. So that blew up right in Amber's face. That's if you crazy. Why you this see? This action Karma's wasn't brought up in Johnny's well. case. It might be. But the reason it's not more famous is because she got two years of probation for it. There are even rumors that Heard had her legal team erase those previous domestic AB allegations. Let you think that her AB nature was only tied to her more personal relationships her former assistant in Kate James had many things to say about her former employee. Furthermore, she was Heard's assistant during the time of the relationship with Depp. She felt, she felt that gave her the right to spit in my face. And there was a witness in the apartment at that time, by the way. But handyman Hector Galindo. He like, at what so point, she, like, do you realize so she's a habitual liar? liar? He was so embarrassed to hear her speaking to me like that. In the defamation case that is currently going on, she had plenty to say. Her mother was terrified of her. James recalled, her poor sister was treated like a dog that you kick. Heard, she said, would bombard her with text messages, sometimes beginning as early as 2 a.m. During one confrontation over James's salary, Heard allegedly went berserk. She leapt up out of her chair, put her face approximately four inches from my face. She was spitting in my face, telling me wow. how dare you ask me for the salary you're asking for, recalled the ex-staffer, who was later fired. Apparently, Heard also also used James's son as a prop to try and convey a maternal side to the media and to Johnny himself. Arguably the biggest lie in regards to her AB tendencies though is not surprisingly the one that has to do with what she did and didn't do with Johnny Depp. Because throughout this whole case, the one thing that Amber Heard has done, all she could do in force, is that she's never been AB to Johnny Depp. Which is cat. Like I said, he's not walking into doors, he's not beating himself up. How does one manage to get those many scars and bruises? Trying to get played in court for years. Years. It's a recording of them in an argument after a key fight in their relationship, and Amber very clearly says that she hit Johnny but didn't punch him. She even tries to enforce that she hit him multiple times but never punched him, and Which even explained the completely difference between insane. the two. I hate when people try to create their own I definition. Said, no, I said to you, please, tell Travis what just happened. Oh, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, tell, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in You're the right. wow. thing. And you, you figured it all out. And you said, but I hate when people I'm try to create sorry, their I own definition of uh, a word. Uh, hit you, you know what I mean? The they tried to tweak it thinking, so it justifies their you. narrative. You're not and that's that's when when you deal with people like that, walk away. I don't care what you're talking about. Walk away. I don't care if it's sports. I don't care if it's you're talking about a cooking recipe. I don't care when you when you deal with people like that. Literally walk away. You know what they always say? If you lie about something small, you just imagine what you would do if it was something big. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How? What am I supposed to do? Do this? I, I'm not sitting here thinking about it, am I? You are. That's the difference between me. And That's you, disgusting, baby. You are such a baby. Girl, the That's disgusting. And it sucks so bad because Johnny Depp is a, uh, an amazing man. Because human being. Let's just put aside the fact that he's a man. Just human being. You know what? You are admirable. 
She also went on to note that she started the fight against Depp that resulted in the beating. And when he tried to call her, like imagine about a it, man telling a, baby. Telling a woman Other that witnesses recall her basically I stalking Depp. At I times. didn't and punch you, but I hit. When she tried to get him to do oh my God! The world would go crazy. Johnny Depp, Depp would be in hell right now, and right now, the list goes burning. On. So if she never heard Depp, that's a lot just of people lying. Just to be reincarnated back on Earth and then die again and burn in hell. Oh my God! That's that's insane. by Depp. And showed them but it's supposed to, friends, to be okay family, when a woman everyone. says it. But if you or in actually this case, ask those Amber people, Heard. most won't say they saw bruising, including a doctor that treated both Depp and Heard. Heard's former assistant that we talked about earlier, a neighbor who Heard had a good relationship with, and more. In fact, just about everyone who has testified so far has noted that Johnny and Amber did get into verbal fights with one another. Which is normal. Time, That's but no one ever saw Amber Heard get physically struck by Depp. Now, yes, technically that would be understandable if it only happened in private, like say in the yeah. room or bedroom but Heard has made it seem as though he was not only a b to her in certain public places but that everyone knew about what he did to her and yet such evidence has not been presented to state that is true this one is honestly both funny and ironic but trust us when we say it matters in the long run during the opening oh, statements time. of the defamation case, Amber Heard's lawyer stated that to cover up the bruises she that were put on her by Johnny Depp, she would use various kinds, kinds of, makeup. of makeup. One of the See, kits yeah. that her lawyers used as proof was one that was made by the brand Milani, which they presented to the jury in those opening statements. And that's when things started to get really interesting. The company, Milani, posted a TikTok video from their page that refutes what Heard's attorney was selling, writing, you asked us. Let the record show that our correcting kit launched in 2017, adding a hypercut video digging up the deets on the kit's launch, December 2017. There's one thing you can expect from me, and that's the unexpected. Cause I'm an international super spy. Super spy! Now, if you believe a friend of Amber Heard, this is nothing more than a company using an opportunity. Ms. Heard's lawyer was using an example of the kind brand, of makeup that she used, but it's a sad day when a makeup company uses that as an opportunity to make light of what victims of DV exactly. have to do yeah, to hide the results ridiculous. of that's the AP insane. they endure. Trust us you know, when we say not what Milani was doing at all. No company would do that unless they had revenue. a death wish. All they were doing was pointing out the facts of the matter. And the fact is that this particular brand of makeup didn't exist when Amber Heard claimed to have claimed used that she it. Used it. Which is what I was thinking. Because if, if at least in 2017, how could you use it back prior to that? Say, it say, quote, the Milani concealing kit in the opening statements. But here's the twist on that. The lawyer, through Amber, still used that case as the visual element to get people to think about what Amber may have done. Which she was a dumbass anyway because it sounded like she was just a high school. She just kept repeating. Precise details, which honestly got Johnny some hot she sound like himself a, when he was cross examined. Like, recently. straight out of high school. You have to wonder why they did make sure like, what that academy the one did she go wasn't to get even one that she used. We'll likely never know, but it was technically a lie. And if she's lying about the makeup brand and type she used, what else could she be lying about? And there you go, everyone. A look at the confirmed times that Amber Heard has lied to various people and what the lies might just mean in the long run. What do you think of this breakdown of all that was said by Heard in the past and present? Does this definitively show you that something is very wrong with her side of the story? Okay. Well, so pretty much, I mean, like I said, it just confirms that what we already knew. Amber Heard is a liar. Excuse me. But not just on one case, but many of other cases as well. And many of other times throughout the trial, you just got to be able to listen. But like I said, I won't talk too specific about the trial of the case because I don't want to get flagged. If you've seen it, you've seen it. Um, or if you're keeping up with it, definitely keep in tune with it. But here's just like my outtake on it. As, as an attorney for Amber Heard, if I was, right? At this point, I'm looking at her and I'm just like, dude, you you gotta cut some kind of deal. Like, you gotta save my reputation as an attorney too because if I'm fighting for you and the evidence is just showing, whether it be through clips on in, on the internet or even the cases, or even in the case in, court, in the court case that, you know, um, it shows like, you're making me look like a bad attorney, like a liar. And like, at what point do I even save myself the dignity and realize that like, okay, now I'm just covering up lies and trying to justify her lies and wrongdoing. I know that as an attorney and as a human being, just as a person in general, that all the evidence that has been presented thus far is showcasing that she's a terrible person, or at least at the time she was, right? You give her, give, give somebody the benefit of the doubt that it did happen 
uh, a while ago. You know, maybe they have a change over the course of time, but we're not we're not talking about changes over the course of time. We're talking about during that time period. But during that time period, you're a horrible person. As if I was the attorney, um, I'm looking at that and I'm like, yo, you got to give me something to work with. Take a plea case, do something. Admit to your wrongdoings. Like, let's just save face, bear it all. Say you were wrong, you lied. Say something. Say something. Like, help me save face and help... You know, because like at the end of the day, if you just tell the truth, you get it over with, they're going to look at you regardless. But I would have to say maybe five, 10 years down the line from now, everybody's probably, did, uh, it's, it's crazy as that sounds, they're going to forget about it, but they're going to be like, oh yeah, you were that person that did such and such. But then we're going to look back and be like, that was 10 years ago, forget about it. They changed, right? Cool, right? But at that at that point in time, it's like now I'm looking at the, at, at the attorney, I'm like, yo, do give me something I can work with. Tell, Start telling the truth. I can't provide evidence because the evidence that you're trying to give me to uphold against Johnny Depp, it's a lie. Can I even trust that evidence, that form of evidence? We're trying to get witnesses to the stand and we, at, at this point, even if I'm her attorney, I'm looking at I'm like, did you tell this witness to lie for you? Because if I'm going off of the witness, the witness is pretty much, wouldn't it be technically like he was saying the whole time against Johnny Depp, not allowing Johnny Depp to talk, wouldn't it be hearsay? You know what I mean? Even if you take the witness word for it. Oh, I've seen Amber Heard with cuts and bruises. That's that's hearsay. You have to object to that as Johnny Depp's attorney. Object. That's hearsay because it's only YouTube. You know what I mean? You can't take their word for it. That's. You know, do you see what I'm saying? Like even as even as uh, Amber Heard's attorney, every witness that she brings up to the stand. Now I gotta look at that and be like, Are you lying for? Her? Would you lie under oath? You know, like all the evidence that you're bringing, I have to even being on your side. I even have to second guess it, and I have to be careful because I'm like. We've been caught in so many lies, and I know we've been caught in so many lies, but we gotta save face. You tell the truth about something. I think what she should do is just pretty much come clean, seal the deal. I think she should definitely uh, suffer the consequences, whatever they may be, um, uh, to her actions. I think she owes Johnny Depp a shit ton of money. Um, there's no way in the hell I don't think she could ever give him his credibility back. Um, from the movie industry, just to, from his career, there's, that's that's damage. That's years worth of damage and um, repairs that she would have to make up for, uh, you know, to help him. But at, there's, at that point, there's no way because he lost out on so much. I, I say give him $100 million, um, give him all his credit back, and then just say face end the case. There's there's no way. Just take the L. You have to take the hell at Amber. Uh, if I was Amber Heard, I'd, I'd just take the L. Walk away. I did what I did. It was wrong. It was like, you have to admit it. Be the bigger woman. Just walk away. You abused this man. Um... And DV, you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's crazy. I don't know. That's just my take on it. It's kind of frustrating because we, you know, let's let's just forget the fact that it was Johnny Depp. But just, just even as a normal person, but the fact that it is Johnny Depp and we love him and you know we could feel for him and we see the pain in his eyes, just reliving the moment. Um, you know, when he's asked about these certain questions, it's traumatizing. You know, as it would be for any person. That's crazy. Um, justice for Johnny. We want to get the W for Mr. Depp himself. Um, and I, I love the fact that he comes out every day smiling, knowing that the people on the side he has so much support. And I just wish that on both parties, despite how I may feel about Amber Heard, because it could be just a biased opinion. But um, I do want them to both seek re um, help, um, help, uh, re recovery as fast as possible. Um, and I just want them to be on good terms as far as, you know, with each other and themselves and just find a journey, newfound space, just grow, develop and learn from that. Um, and, and wish them the best of, of luck. Although I do wish more for Johnny than her. I probably shouldn't have said that, but fuck you. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the case. Uh, it's definitely a controversial one, but yeah, man, it's 2022 foot on X. We're not letting anybody breathe. Um, we're dropping banger after banger. We're I'm going content after content, whatever I see in the comment section down below, that's what we're reacting to. Just like every other video, man, you know, if I'm here, I can't get this video out to you. So I got to go, but that only means I'm in the next video. So I'll catch you in the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. I'm out of here. Sheesh.